500,000 microfarad capacitor. Yes, this is one of the capacitors you'd use with a car audio system. And I have incorporated this into my um, solar setup to help offset a heavy draw on the inverter. And what I have plugged into my system right now, running primarily, is the refrigerator. So somebody had asked a question about wiring uh, and show it a little closer in detail. To simplify this, the positive from the capacitor, don't worry about this. This is this is just a, uh, this comes from one of these. I have one of these wired in there and because it's positive and negative exposed I, I plugged it in there okay but forget about these so so off of here we have positive and it runs across and goes straight into the bus bars it's this wire right here okay and negative does the same thing goes up over down and that's connected to the negative bus right here okay so in other words this does not I have I have the batteries which are here see this goes down to the batteries and that comes up to the bus bar and the inverter also the negative goes over and connects to the bus bar I basically have everything tied into the bus bar. This is uh, this is another little battery bank I've separated off off of the main, or excuse me, off the main. Um, and then here, that negative comes up over and across and connects in to the charge controller. Positive out and connects here. So all you have to do, one of two things, is the closer you can get the, the capacitor to the inverter, that, that's what you're looking at right there. Is you're looking at just basically taking the power out of this and sending it directly here. But my gauge of wire is so large that it really doesn't matter where I connect it. I'm not getting a voltage drop anywhere. But if you're using smaller gauge wire and you had your capacitor connected to your battery bank then you would uh, you would you would kinda hinder the operation or minimize it if you were to connect it to the batteries versus connecting it right to the inverter where, where it's drawing so the idea behind it is when <coughs> when the inverter draws a heavy load like on the refrigerator when it first kicks on, it draws a lot of amps, so your voltage will drop a lot, and then it'll kick back in. And this thing is is a 2,000 watt inverter with a 4,000 watt peak. Well, what happens is this will release its energy when you get a heavy draw. Anything below the set voltage, like right now, we're at 12.4 volts okay so realistically this thing is charged up to 12.4 volts with a lot of amps behind it and uh, when this thing draws down you know without it you would be pulling a lot of amps on the batteries this overcomes that gives that little extra surge and helps the inverter fire up or, or helps the inverter power your load a lot faster in turn helping minimize the load that is put on your inverter and hopefully that that helps so anyway basically positive to your positive bus bar and negative to your negative bus bar or you can connect it directly to the inputs on your inverter that's it hope it helps any questions, let me know.